Are you curious what the cost of living is in Roseville, California? Now, Roseville is a city 20 minutes outside of Sacramento and is one of the hottest places to move in Northern California. In this video, we're going to talk about everything from utilities to house prices to property taxes. But first, stay to the end of this video and I'm going to show you how far your money will go in the Roseville real estate market and what houses are looking like resales versus new build. My name is Brandon Leone, a local realtor here in the Roseville area, and I want to tell you a little bit about Roseville before we get started. So Roseville is a population of about 150,000. It's about 15 to 20 minutes outside of Sacramento. There are three main zip codes. There is 95678, 95661 and 95747. Each zip code is uniquely different and I just don't have time to go into all of that right now. So feel free to call or message me with any questions. As of right now in Roseville, California, the median house price is 675,000. Now that's median, right? So you have some of the smaller homes, some of the larger homes, but keep in mind that this time last year, the median house price was 695,000. So it's gone up $80,000 in one year. Now. COVID and a lot of other things have played a role in how houses have increased. You have low interest rates over the past year, you have lower inventory, you have a higher demand. So some of those played a role, but uh, that's a pretty high median house price compared to the rest of uh, the United States. As of right now, the average rent for a two bedroom apartment is gonna be about $2,204. So uh, apartments are a little bit different. You may not be looking at moving here and moving into an apartment, but uh, if you're looking for a three to four bedroom house, what I've seen the average prices to be right now uh, in the Roseville area are gonna be anywhere from $2,000 to $3,000, depending on the area, the size. Let's get into utilities. So what I did is I reached out to three of my clients that live in Roseville, and I asked them what the utilities were. I think that's the best way to get a range. So my first client has a 1,500 square foot house. Their utilities all together are about $180 to $220 a month. Now it depends on usage, time of year, things like that. But what's great about Roseville is they have, the city of Roseville has their own utility company. So everything's all in one spot. So you have electric, water, sewage, garbage, all done through the city of Roseville. Now gas is the only thing that would be PG&E. This particular client only has a gas heater. So their gas bill this month was about $8. But overall, water, sewage, garbage, everything included about 180 to 220 dollars a month. So another one of my clients has a 2100 square foot one story home. Their uh, energy bill is going to be about 100 to 200 dollars depending on the time of year. Uh, their water is 60 dollars a month. Uh, which is on a meter. Their sewer is a flat rate $45 a month and their garbage is $62 a month. Now, uh, the garbage, each garbage can, so you can actually have two garbage cans, green waste and a garbage can. They opted to have two garbage cans, $31 a piece. That's why it's $62. So this month their uh, utilities were $270. Lastly, I have a client with a 3,000 square foot house and their average utility bills are gonna be anywhere from 300 to $425 a month. So Roseville is really affordable uh, compared to Rockland where everything is on PG&E. So Roseville, great as far as utilities. Next, I wanna talk about property taxes. So in the state of California, property taxes are 1%. Now, we have some extra taxes here. Uh, we have taxes assessed for schools and parks and things like that. We have something called Mellow Roos. So it's, it's a, basically a bond or an extra tax assessed uh, over the 1% property tax that you have. So our average uh, property taxes will be about 1.25% of the sales price of whatever house you purchase. Keep in mind with Mellow Roos, the newer the community or the newer the home, the higher the Mellow Roos is because they're still building all of the new structures, all of the parks, all of the fire stations, all of those things. Sales tax in Roseville, California is 8.75%. So uh, just to give you a gauge in San Francisco, it's 9%, uh, but it's pretty normal for this area. Let's talk about income taxes. Income taxes overall in the state of California are very similar. They're gonna range from one to 13%, but typically in this area, it all depends on uh, what you claim, wh whether you have dependents, married, single, how much money you make. But typically in our area, uh, and, and don't quote me on this, but it's gonna be about eight to 13% is what you're gonna pay in income taxes. As far as jobs in Roseville, California, of course you're gonna have government jobs, you're gonna have people commuting to Sacramento, you're gonna have technology jobs, you're gonna have healthcare, we have several hospitals in the area. Uh, you're also gonna have a lot of people working remotely, and that's one thing that has happened over the past few years, where people are able to work 
more remote, which is nice. So if you guys have any questions on what I just covered, feel free to call or text me. I've lived in the area my whole life and would love to help. But I'm just gonna go ahead and jump over to show you what the real estate market is doing right now in Roseville, California, and show you some houses. Hey guys, Brandon Leon here at eXp Realty, uh, your Sacramento area realtor. I'm excited to kind of share with you. I get the question all the time from people that are moving out of the area, like, where does my money get me? What kind of house am I gonna get for 600,000? What kind of a house for 700? What kind for a million? And although there's no really short answer to that, I wanna kind of show you every 100,000 or so and, uh, and what kind of house you're gonna get for that. Now, we're talking about Roseville, California. We have three different zip codes in Roseville. And so some have newer homes, brand new homes, some have older homes. So there are lots of different styles, but I'm gonna kind of go through with you one by one and hopefully give you some insight uh, if you're looking on moving to the area. So <clears throat> let's get started here. Uh, we'll get started at sub 500. So check the timestamp. We'll have everything in there, you know, under 500, under 600, or 700, all the way plus a million, right? So as we look, uh, we have Amberfields Way in Roseville. So if we look at uh, the map, uh, what's great about this area, this is, uh, this is in uh, 95747. Nine, seven, seven. So this is kind of right on that edge of uh, what we call uh, West Park, right? So uh, when you look at Roseville as a whole, if I go out here just so you can see kind of where we're at, you have a few other cities close by Antelope. So you can see where we're Sacramento, where Sacramento is down here, and we are uh, about 20 or 25 minutes. So uh, just seeing where we're at as we get closer uh, if you are on the west side or left side of my screen here then you will be uh, considered uh, West Roseville uh, um, particularly West Park or Fittiman Farms this other area is still West Roseville but it's still good for you to see this is Coyote Ridge Elementary which is close by so uh, I'm just giving you an idea of kind of where it is. This area is still developing and they have, uh, you know, lots of parks. They have several schools in the area, all highly rated, but let's move on to the actual house itself. So this, this is three bedroom, two bath, just over a thousand square feet. Uh, lots a little smaller. Um, so when you're, there are a few houses under 400,000, but they're usually two bedrooms, two baths or two bedroom, one bath in an older neighborhood, very, uh, you know, older as far as, you know, 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s even sometimes. So uh, what I'd like to do is just kind of show you some of these um, pictures so you can kind of get an idea for, all right, this is what the house looks like. So this house is built in the early 2000s. This is pretty common look. You have tile roofs, so we're gonna have tile composition, uh, uh, composition shingle roofs, and then also shake for really older homes, not very often in Roseville, you'll see. So uh, stucco, uh, wood frame construction, concrete slabs. We don't have a lot of raised slabs here in Roseville. Uh, this is uh, what we call kind of Stockholm original. You can see oak cabinets, tile countertops. This is pretty normal for this size, uh, for this time uh, of the house being built. So you have the kitchen area, you have the living room, fireplaces are pretty common, gas and wood burning as well. So just your typical 3-2 that you would see. Um, this, is, this was sold actually recently at uh, 488,000. Uh, so simple yard. So under 500, you're gonna see houses like this. You might see older houses that maybe have a few upgrades with some good size yards. Uh, when I say good size, you can have you know all the way up to a quarter of an acre sometimes in the older neighborhoods, which the older neighborhoods are always going to have a little more space. So that kind of gives you an idea of under five or sub 500,000. Okay. So now let's go, uh, let's go next on the list to under 600,000. So as we look under 600,000, this is a three bedroom, two bath home, 1,875 square feet in 95661, which is considered East Roseville. So just to kind of show you on the map where it relates to the other one be able to show you a little bit larger map. Kirby is a main road in Roseville and uh, so you see this is the house here. Douglas is a main street that goes through Roseville and it goes all the way to the end to Folsom Lake which is a pretty big deal in our area closest body of water. So just to give you an idea of how far we are at this is East Roseville and then the house that we were just looking at was 
actually over here in this area. So um, that's about a 15 minute drive, if that, you know, 12 to 15 minutes. Just to give you an idea of location, because that's the other thing people say, well, what's the difference between East Roseville and West Roseville? And so I like to give a little bit more information uh, for you guys. So this is a three bedroom, two bath, 1,875 square feet, a much bigger lot. Um, this actual home was remodeled. So uh, they did a lot of work to it, um, tons of upgrades. So this is a lap siding, uh, composition shingle roof. So the older homes pre-90s are usually going to have composition shingle roof. They redid the front yard, uh, replaced the windows. So um, the houses of this time had single pane. Uh, some of them had older dual pane, but vinyl dual pane windows replaced the flooring, uh, quartz countertops. So as you can see, um, this house uh, and the difference in price, obviously, of you know almost uh, 100,000. You can see, uh, you know, they did everything from you know changing the lighting to new doors. This has a pantry, uh, updated the bathrooms. So this is what we consider a move-in ready house. Pretty simple backyard, but much bigger, and lots of options for you. So <clears throat> that was uh, a home at sub 600,000. So now in Roseville, California, we're going to go up sub 700,000. So as we as we look at that and uh, kind of moving forward, the houses are going to tend to be a little bit bigger in this price range. Uh, and there are a wide range of houses too, depending on the zip code and the age of house. So this particular one is in Heritage Oaks, which is a popular uh, area in Roseville. This is in West Roseville, 95747. And uh, three-car garage, you'll start to see some three-car garages. You'll see the higher, uh, more desired neighborhoods. You know, the things that you're looking for at this point is, hey, uh, how's the, how does the roof look? If it's not tile, this one is tile. How does the siding look? This, these have a little more character with the brick veneer uh, in the front as well. Uh, and has the HVAC been replaced? You start to look at some of the bigger things as you look at these houses. but. Uh, Really nice curb appeal for this one. Super nice neighborhood, highly desired because it does have character. So you have a little recessed ceiling there. So you walk right into a living room and just kind of a nice, I guess you can call it a family dining combo. And then the living room is gonna be attached to the kitchen there. So uh, this is compartmentalized, kind of two living spaces, which was common for the time. They upgraded the lighting. Uh, and uh, the countertops and so a uh, decent sized kitchen got some good counter space there which is nice um, bedrooms of this time and a period of being built are going to be pretty average you're going to have usually good sized master bedrooms the other uh, bedrooms will be average this is the master bedroom you have an entrance to the backyard there uh, you know double doors entrance and then as you can see they did update some of the tile work in the shower still have original cabinets and, and such uh, which you'll see a lot of different uh, types of upgrades and bathrooms but usually they'll do the flooring and the vanity and the painting as well so a, a lot of these houses at this time also have a sink in the in the laundry room but the laundry room is typically for houses of this size inside but a lot of times you're going to see especially for one-story homes you're going to see that they're going to be right in line with the garage um, to get up to the garage so simple backyard you have a, a elevated a few different spaces so not as big of a yard but that's more like because more because of the highly desired area it's kind of tiered so uh, you know gated communities so there's some extra amenities there uh, which of course you know we can talk about at another time but uh, but great neighborhood I have uh, I have had some some clients in this neighborhood which has been pretty cool and they they obviously love it um, so that house is built in 1996 so now we're going to move on to uh to a little bit higher higher priced home right this one uh this one was listed for 825 sold for 830 that's not common for this time we're actually seeing a lot more houses selling for you know uh five to ten percent over list price so this is one of kind of the select few that didn't and um, you know there are always reasons for that something it, as an agent what we look for is you know how long a house has been on the market how much did it sell over list price it's giving us some ideas of um, you know what's going on in the market i've viewed most of these most of the houses in the area so i'm able to see so this house 
is uh, Trinidad Way, also in West Roseville, uh, stucco construction. Uh, this, t this house has kind of a nice little entryway and then it opens up into a great room concept. And this is what you'll see uh, in West Park a lot. Houses built uh, after 2010 uh, typically are going to have this great room concept, nice big uh, island and uh, pendant lighting, can lights, LED lights, everything's going to be just a little bit more upgraded and a little bit more open. So you have the white shaker cabinets, um, beautiful countertops, flooring, they got a chandelier there. So this gives you an idea of that, uh, that great room, everything all in one room, nice concept there. Uh, so, uh, you know, beautiful home. They have the master bedroom that also has an entrance to the back. Uh, also, a lot of houses of this age are either going to have like a regular gray uh, tile roof or they're going to have a Spanish style like a terracotta as well. So updated bathrooms there, tile in there. Uh, they have a quartz surround, which is nice. So another bedroom there, that's the uh, hall bathroom. So some great upgrades, another move-in ready house. Uh, anything in you know the sub 900 is going to be in uh, you know what's considered a highly desired neighborhood. Whether that's highly desired for you or not, uh, that, that's up to you. But um, good sized backyards as well is what you're gonna see. And typically in West Roseville, a lot of these houses will have really nice yards. Uh, some of the new new homes now looking at homes built right now at the time of this video the new homes don't have as many but the ones from about uh, 2005 6 to to about 2012 they they typically have really good size lots and when I say good size lots we go by uh, lot size uh, acres not square feet so we're talking about you know um, 0.12 acres or larger so some of them have a quarter or even a third of an acre uh, which is nice. So solid backyard, lots of space for your kids. As you can see in this picture, they're, um, you know, they were building some new homes and um, there are several new home communities in West Roseville. Should you be interested, uh, you can go ahead and check out. We'll have the link to the uh, Sacramento New Home Guide where uh, we tour new homes uh, every single week in uh, the greater Sacramento area. In case you're looking on moving to the area, it's just something to help you um, you know, we help people find the right home, whether it's resale or whether it's new homes. So that's just a value add for you that hopefully, uh, hopefully you are able to take advantage of. So great house here. Now, uh, now we're going to go, um, now we're going to go this, uh, next tier or next level sub 1 million. So 900,000 to a million, uh, this particular, uh, house has a lot going for it you know we're at uh, we're at 925 list price and it closed at 920 now what you're gonna see is once we break that I would say 850 to 900 barrier we're not having unless the house is just you know showstopper amazing we're, we're not seeing houses sell for as much uh, as far as you know five to ten percent over list price we're seeing them at list price or maybe up to five percent so this is just one of those uh, cases uh, where, let me show you the map, where um, this one sold slightly under, which does happen from time to time. When you hear all the crazy stats and everything that's going on, I do you know, monthly updates, so you can obviously check the YouTube channel and everything for our Sacramento market updates that we do. It's all data, but it's driven regionally, right, in the area, so there are different cases for everything. So. This is at the edge of West Roseville. So uh, West Park High School just got done, just has, has been in session for a year or so. And so they're building all kinds of stuff out here. So this area is currently developing, which is nice. So what, what's great about this area is this is a great commute to people that are gonna um, work in Sacramento. So basically you're able to come you know, down here, take uh, Riego Road or Baseline, and then you're able to hit 99 to go to Sacramento, which is great. So commuting wise, this is a good spot, nice safe neighborhood, schools are highly rated. So I really like West Park as a whole, and there's lots of new homes available over here that you can check out. Um, so I do highly, highly recommend um, recommend this area. So let's take a look at the pictures of this one. Oh, before we do that, this is a five bedroom. This is a three and a half bath, 3,600 square feet, uh, built in 2018. So this this house has a 
a, a lot going for it. This is this is a house that you can grow into. Uh, you have space. This is what a lot of people would consider, you know, their forever home. I guess you can say. Um, it does have some RV access on the side here. Um, so nice curb appeal. Now with, uh, I'm sure some of you may have heard. California had some water issues several years back. So the low maintenance yard is very common to see around here where you don't have the actual grass. Now, uh, this is a, a, a unique floor plan in the fact that it has kind of a corner kitchen and it has a large island and it kind of opens up to the rest of the room, but this does have a pool. So a pool is beautiful, <laughs> amazing to have in the summertime so you can stay nice and uh, and cool in the summer we have a little what we call a california sunroom which is basically a covered patio uh, as part of the house so good size backyard there's still some some ways to make it your own there but having the pool uh, having solar as well another fun fact you know uh, people that live in placer sacramento area just with the heat and the cost and everything typically will have uh, solar with a house this large it does cut down on the cost now you can lease it or you can purchase it Sometimes the house comes with it. it. There are lots lots of varying things. I do have some videos on my YouTube channel about solar. So uh, you can get some more information there. So this uh, layout, you walk right in. Uh, you have a room off to the side. Uh, I'm sorry, a bathroom off to the side. You have the uh, stairs and it's kind of just a long hallway to an open den area that you can use as an office. Uh, if you would like and and then you have the kitchen which you saw in the first few pictures um, pendant lights nice and open what I like about this is there's a few different configurations you can have like you could have uh, the dining room table you know off to the left you can have uh, a larger couch area there's there's a few configurations you can do and that's what the great room gives you you also have some natural light with these windows so I'm going to go through these pictures kind of quickly as to not take up too much time. Plantation shutters, which help with energy efficiency. Indoor laundry. Upstairs, you have a loft area or a game room, uh, which is stellar to have. Now, what you'll see with houses in this price point is you're going to have um, very large master suites or primary bedrooms, as they now call it. Uh, they're going to have you're going to have really good size and, and options to do whatever you like. So. You have the, the dual vanities, the soaking tub, the full-size shower. <clears throat> also going to have a nice walk-in closet. But just having the pool is, uh, is a huge benefit. And here's a little shot of the, of the uh, sliding doors. Now, this, isn't, this is something that when they bought from the builder, it was definitely an upgrade. Or they put it in afterwards as far as the, uh, them opening both. Typically, a slider will just open one way. But uh, Stellar House. And um, you know that one just sold recently. So now let's hit up the last house, which is over a million. Now there's several areas in Roseville that will have houses over a million. There's some gated communities. This one happens to be in Morgan Creek, which is a, a beautiful golf community. And it used to be private. It's now public, but uh, the gated community is still uh, is still active. And you'll have some er other areas of Tiburon and Stone Ridge and East Roseville. Uh, there's quite a few really, really beautiful high-end areas in uh, in Roseville where you have houses over a million. Just to give you an idea of what a million is going to get you, um, this house in particular uh, was uh, was listed at uh, 1.5, just over 1.549, and it sold at 1.575. So it it did sell, you know, 26,000 or so over list price, which is common to see. Four to six bedrooms, uh, three and a half baths, 3,500 square feet. You see the lovely view, almost half an acre. And you see the lovely view here as far as uh, what a beautiful shot and uh, what a beautiful yard there. So as we see, we have a, a pool with a view. You can see the sunset. And inside, you're going to have lots of different styles, uh, houses of this price point. Sometimes you'll have, you know, a Venetian or a Mediterranean. You'll see some modern homes, modern homes, but the houses of this time are going to have this theme, uh, very common with the color schemes and everything are going to look. And there's one of those terracotta roofs, uh, the Spanish uh, Spanish tile style roofs roofs that I was uh, referring to earlier. But uh, this house has a little bit of everything as far as a view. No boats or anything on this 
body of water, but there you do have some paddle boats and some different things, but no motor boats. So lots of spaces to to hang out, uh, lots of spaces to entertain, kind of a grand um, dining room, and as you can see, some tasteful upgrades for the time. So this is uh, this one sold again at 1.575 just recently, and this is uh, this is located in uh, an area of West Roseville, right on the edge of Placer County. There's two sides. There's Morgan Creek, and there is Morgan Greens. So there's 97 pictures here. So I don't um, don't need to go through all of them, but as you can see, there is a nice grass area. Um, you can head down. So that's really where the half acre comes into play. You have nothing but space. So um, there are options out here a little bit for everyone uh, like this property a lot. So, uh, you know, just to recap as we look at the map of where this is, and you can see how big that body of water is. So Morgan Creek, you know, is right here on the edge of Roseville. The first house we looked at was over here. Um, we did look at a few houses over here in this area, which is an older part of Roseville. But as you can see, as a whole, uh, just even if you're just starting your search, just understanding, okay, we have Sacramento, we have uh, Carmichael, we have Orangeville, you're here these cities, Granite Bay, which is a great place to live, a lot of custom homes, a uh, million plus over here, right around Folsom Lake. You have Loomis, which is a great community, also small. But you know, my focus on families that are wanting a little bit of everything as far as uh, the the ability to have a nice, safe neighborhood, family friendly, lots of families, schools, all all the eateries and stores and everything close by. You know, Rockland, Roseville, and Lincoln are are kind of my three picks. And Granite Bay, if you want something a little more custom, and or you want acreage, and Loomis is is a lot of uh, properties with multiple acreage. Uh, also have a good school system. All of these do in Placer County, but. You have Rockland, which is right next to Roseville, right north of Roseville. You have Roseville, and then Lincoln is right up here as well. So those would be three areas that you want to check out. I have video upon video upon video of, <clears throat> of Rockland, Roseville, Lincoln, Sacramento area. And so uh, if, if you're just watching this video, check out BLT's Best of Rockland, BLT's Best of Roseville, BLT's Best of Lincoln, and that's just basically Brandon Leon teams. Uh, BLT also sandwich, so we have a little fun around here, but check out, uh, you can see everything from restaurants to schools, uh, to parks, things to do around the area, uh, real estate stuff, uh, whatever it is, whatever your need is, check that out. And if you're looking for a new home, it's one of those things where uh, you can ha head to sacramentonewhomeguide.com and uh, the link will be uh, down there for you to click on. And if you'd like to do a city tour or uh, check out what we have to offer, check out some of our tours of new homes, uh, we are here to help. Uh, my name is Brandon Leon, EXP Realty. And uh, I hope this was helpful for you to see. Prices change all the time. Feel free to call, text, or message me uh, should you have any questions about what the house prices are, um, depending on when you watch this video. And I appreciate your time. Have an amazing day. Hey, so I'm curious if there's anything in this video that I left out that you want to know more about in Roseville, California, comment below and let me know. For future updates about Roseville, California and the greater Sacramento area, feel free to subscribe to my channel. And if you're getting more familiar with Roseville, California and the surrounding areas, check out my playlist where I have parks, schools, restaurants, real estate, everything you need to know, BLT's Best of Roseville. My name is Brandon Leon with EXP Realty, your local Placer and Sacramento County Realtor.